We are in one of the officer's quarters. As you look around, you may see some of the finer things, but don't let that fool you. Whereas in, in the enlisted men's quarters, we've got 28 to 36 men in them. There's two to three officers in a space like this. And it gets a little bit crowded every once in a while. On top of that, since they're supervisors, they have to figure out what on earth is going on for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, based on the orders that they get and what is the best option for the rest of the enlisted men. In the winter, this really turns into a problem. We've already learned that the enlisted men are not going to have everything they need, especially with clothing. So if you have two to 500 men under your orders trying to carry out the day-to-day -day activities of a soldier, drill, fatigue, and guard, and you have to put somebody out on guard duty, for two to four hours and they don't have anything to put on their feet, you have to determine whether or not that person is able to carry out that duty or is there something better for that person to do? Is it fair to constantly keep those people away from their duties or are you going to find something for them to use so they can do what they're supposed to be doing? On top of that, winter tends to be a time where people get bored and discipline starts to fall apart. So how are you going to keep up morale to continue this discipline until the weather starts to break and people can do what they're used to doing and they're more comfortable? Keep in mind, too, that a lot of these officers are between the ages of 18 and 22. So they're very young men as well, trying to figure out life, trying to figure out life in the Army, and how to be a proper supervisor. So even though they may have the finer things in life, their job is no easier than what the enlisted men have to deal with.